<sighs> the last time it rained, it rained really hard and there was two leaks in the roof. So I thought, well, maybe if it's just a little hole or something, you know, I can put some silicone on it. Came up here today and that happened. There's a bit of a problem there. A few days later, after some searching, I was able to find some roof tiles to replace the broken ones. So there I have the tiles back here. And now I'm gonna stick two of them up on the roof because I know I broke at least two. Soft steps and big pros. I'm trying to spread out my weight as much as I can. These roof tiles are obviously reused because they just like patched it and used it again. My foot was right there. Thankfully it hit that beam and I didn't go all the way through the ceiling. I just learned something. It was on one of those patches that my foot was on when it broke. Note to self, don't step on any of those. <sighs> Never knew a screwdriver could scare me so bad. It's not for sure I was going through. God is good because I've got this when I was doing. <sighs> yes. And now that the roof is fixed, and hopefully all the leaks are fixed as well, I'm gonna get off this roof. And I'm very thankful. I just got done because the mosquitoes just got bad. God is really good because after I broke through, I was like, I really don't want to bring a bunch more tiles. But praise the Lord, it's all done. No more water, hopefully. Definitely not any water coming through those two. So in our last video, Crystal commented with a question. Thanks, Crystal. She asked, how long did it take you to learn the language or how much of the language do you know? Great question. So originally my family came to Thailand about seven and a half, eight years ago. And we were working with the Karen people, which is a minority group. And so that was the first language I learned, second to English, of course. And that one I would say took me three years, probably before I was really fluent in it. and that wasn't really with any formal instruction. I studied Thai for three months and that was like, it was really, really awesome actually because like in the first three days I felt like the, the doors of the Thai language just opened and I was able to learn so much just because I understood the foundation of the language, the sounds and the tones. And so when I hear something I can repeat it because I know how it was said. I recently, well, about a year, over a year ago, I started studying Thai, and I studied for about five months. They gave me a good enough foundation that at least, like, I can talk to people on a basic level, and I can learn from, from there. I can build on that. So that was really helpful. I can read and write some, although I'm really rusty on that. I'm definitely a long ways from fluent, but I know enough that it really comes in handy knowing the language. Um, and I have a, a foundation to build on, which is, is something that I really am thankful for. Right now, I'm in Sukhothai, which is a city in the Central Valley of Thailand, on the, kind of the northern side. Yesterday, I was here with some people that were doing a prayer walk. The city has no Adventists in it. There's no church. Nearest church is two hours away. Um, and so, the prayer walk was just 
praying that God would would send his spirit in the city to work on people's hearts and to prepare them because there's a family that's planning to come here um, and that's a huge answer to prayer and so we're wanting to kind of be on the ground and, and pray for for the preparation uh, for them to come. So I wasn't able to vlog yesterday but I'll show you a little bit here about um, what it was like, what they what they did and When I first um, was discovering the city, I was looking at it uh, on Google Earth and discovered a heart-shaped lake. And in the center of this heart-shaped lake is a heart-shaped island. And I'm like, what in the world? Did somebody hack Google? How could a heart-shaped lake with a heart-shaped island end up anywhere? It's pretty cool because here we are trying to um, reach a city because we believe that that's the heart of God. The heart of God is for people and the heart of God is for this unentered city in which there's no Adventist to share the three angels message. And so we got a heart-shaped lake, heart-shaped island, indicating the heart of God for the unreached. So now I'm just gonna go to the temple here and see if I can uh, get some b-roll to add to the video from yesterday because most of the shots I have are just of them want something else to throw in there too so let's go see what it looks like. for watching. If you have any comments or especially if you have questions you would like us to answer in the vlog, please leave them in a comment below and we'll be sure to get to those as soon as we can. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time on Mission Viewfinder.